Good morning, family. Takuma New Life Church. It is also a blessed day. God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Thank you. Um, we continue to study about developing a godly lifestyle according to Bible reading plan. It's day eight, dealing with those who are weaker. Um, it is a story for believers' relationship. It is not with uh, unbelievers in the world or in the church. It is for it is story for relationship between believers who want to follow Jesus' way and keep His words. When you follow Jesus and when you have a path in the Lord God Jesus Christ, at the time, you know, we cannot walk this path alone. We have to walk this path or together, because we are church, the body of Jesus Christ. At the time, we would find out some people are strong and mature Christian, or other people, some people are weak Christian. At the time when you find out weak people, it's not a good feeling. However, we have to go all together. We have to go this path all together. Uh, and, and also, there's just something we have to do. The Bible gives us guidance about, in, in, about it in Romans chapter 14. So, uh, I hope you read Romans chapter 14, whole chapter today. Who is weaker or stronger in the church? In fact, it is a very subjective view, uh, subjective point of view. Some can think that People who keep the regular godly practice are strong and mature Christian, like uh, no absence of morning prayer meeting, no drinking, or keeping celebration for days, and helping people regularly, like that. And also others can argue that people who are free, they are mature and strong. Yeah, that's also a good uh, point of view. However, in this chapter, it's very clear about it. This chapter is talking about form and essence. The time which one is strong people? Yes, uh, people who focus on essence, the meaning, rather than form. Which one is more important between form and essence? Uh, if we are asked like that, uh, our answer is absolutely essence, meaning. Meaning is more important than a form. Uh, yes, right. But uh, I'd like you don't miss, we are asked which one is more important, not what are we to choose between them. More important. That means both of them are important. But essence, meaning, is more important than form. We have to take both of them. That's a very healthy a faith uh, uh, practice and uh, that is a very healthy godly lifestyle and practice. Uh, and also, you know, uh, if I say between a uh, rela uh, uh, relation between form and SS, it is like that. Form is like a bottle that holds and keeps water. And essence is like a water that gives us life. Uh, you may want to have a, a looking good fancy bottle, tumbler, that's okay, that's good. But if you miss water, there's no meaning of that bottle or tumbler, right? And also, without tumbler, without bottle, you cannot bring and keep and hold the water for your life. So we have to need both of them, form and essence. Uh, this is a relation between form and essence. Usually, we would learn about from about form first uh, for the godly lifestyle after welcoming, receiving Jesus Christ as my Savior and uh, the Lord. We would learn form first. Then, we begin to understand the meaning and contents that the forms point out. So if we say like that, absolutely stronger are, are uh, those who focus on meaning and essence, 
weakers are still practice to practice the forms. Bible says like that. There are uh, there are people like uh, uh, in, in in biblical time. Uh, there are people like this. When you read verse 2, one person believes he may eat anything, while the weak person eats only vegetables. Uh, eating meat, that is uh, some issue for Roman church, uh, you know, the church in, in, in Rome. Not, not just Rome, actually uh, the Gentile, Gentile Christian church, they have this problem because at the time, uh, they have to buy meat at the idol temple. Because in the city, like Rome or Corinth or Ephesus, um, the idol worshippers uh, sold meat. Because, you know, when, we, when you imagine the idol temple, there is a uh, lower, 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 lower floor and upper floor. <laughs> In, in the upper floor, in the second floor, they worship idols. After that, uh, they sold meat in the lower floor. So if, the, if you go to market, you can find out uh, the idol temples where, uh, where uh, idol temples are selling, idol temples are selling the meat. So the meat is uh, the, the kind of the sacrifice for idols. So that, is, that was some problem for church. But uh, some people who understand every food is good in Jesus Christ, they could eat the meat. But some people couldn't do that. Some people have decided not to eat idol uh, sacrifice because they began to believe in Jesus Christ. And other people, they are usually Jewish Christian. They used to keep the regulation from Leviticus chapter 12 and 14. So that was kind of issue in the church. Who is, the, who is more uh, a godly Christian? And also when you read verse 5, one person esteems one day as better than another, while another esteems all days alike. So when you read this part, we can understand uh, the strong persons, mature Christian focus on essence, not just a form, about eating. They can eat everything. They, they esteem all days alike, all days the same, all days holy, not just a few days, not just like Resurrection Day or um, Tabernacle, the, 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 the Feast of Tabernacle, or just the Lord's Day, Sunday. Every day is the same. But other people, no, 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 no. The Lord's Day Sunday is more important and we should celebrate the special day. Um, maybe, in my opinion, they think the other side is weaker. Uh, but we can say weaker is a person who follows the form of eating and day because verse 2 says like that. But interestingly, this chapter doesn't say uh, who are strong or mature believer. It, it doesn't say, hey, you are strong Christian, you are mature Christian because you are eating meat and you're thinking all days same. Read it carefully. Bible doesn't say like that. Bible doesn't say like that. Rather, it says like this: if you are mature or stronger, you think so? You should receive weaker people who you think like it. Right? Yes. Strong people, mature Christian is not those who just eat uh, every food, any food or uh, think all day is the same. Strong, mature, strong and mature Christian are who are those who receive the weaker peoples. Look at uh, verse 1. As for the one who is weak, weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. Today's Bible asks us, 
And verse 3, look at the verse 3. Let not one who is despised the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who is, because God has welcomed him. <clears throat> yes, right. That means don't look down on brothers and sisters who keep the forms carefully. Don't look down on them. That's not mature. That's not strong. If you're stronger, if you are stronger Christian, you have to receive. You cannot look down brothers who keep the form, who uh, who just to eat just to eat vegetables. And also, don't judge brothers who focus on the essence. Even though they can eat meat, uh, they love to God, and you cannot judge them. Why? Because all of them belong to the Lord Jesus. When you read verse 8, it is said like this. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. What I want to focus on today is the word we. We. Not just people who eat vegetables only, or who eat uh, meat and every food. We. We. Who are we? We are those who believe in Jesus Christ and focus on the glory of God. Because we are the Lord's, we belong to the Lord, <clears throat> we cannot look down on other people or we cannot judge other people. If you are mature, yes, receive. Receive weaker people first. And also, if you are mature, if you are a strong Christian, consider other Christians. Be considerate other Christians first. Verse 13 says like this, Therefore, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather, Receive never to put stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. Yeah, weaker people are those who begin to learn Jesus and his words. They are making uh, vessels for their faith. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> for, their, for their faith. At the time, you cannot be hindrance for them. If you just use, use your freedom and your faith before them, they could think, oh, that's okay, maybe. They could think like that. So that is making stumble or hindrance for them to grow up in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you are a mature and strong person, oh, whenever you are doing, you are using your freedom, consider other people first. That is true maturity. That is true strength. And also, um, God is working for beginners and any people. So, uh, they used uh, beginners. At the time, you know, the begin, um, in, the, in the biblical time, the beginners are uh, from um, Gentile or Jewish Jews. Uh, if they come from Gentile, they used to worship uh, secular things so that they have decided to quit something or they were grown up in the traditional family and community like a Jewish community so they don't want to eat they don't want to eat or do something although they know what is essential more important uh, you know God is working for them at the time if my freedom destroy God's work that's not mature. That's not strong faith. Guys are working for people who can eat or not eat. Don't mess up his working because of your conviction and freedom. Rather, use your freedom, use your strong faith for other people who are weak. They are stronger person who God is pleased. Let's pray. 
Our Father God, thank you for let us understand, uh, let us understand about weaker and stronger. Yes, Father, we want to be stronger Christian who focus on the meaning and essence of any forms and your words. However, Father God, uh, we don't want to forget we were beginners and we have to serve the beginners and other peoples with our freedom and our strong faith. Let uh, make us be true, strong persons, strong people in Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.